My parents were missionaries, Presbyterian missionaries in Korea. And I was born in Korea <clears throat> and went to school there through high school. So I, I graduated from high school and in, uh, uh, we had a, an American school in what is now the capital of North Korea, Pyongyang. And uh, I traveled there, uh, stayed in the dormitory, and um, from about the seventh grade on. Uh, before that, uh, we lived in a smaller town in South Korea called Kwangju, and uh, my folks had a smaller still home in the country, a uh, little town called Tam Young. And I spent uh, a couple of years there. Uh, I didn't go to school at all. Uh, my parents just gave me the books and told me to read. <laughs> so when I went to seventh grade in Pyongyang, I knew the vocabulary pretty well, but I never heard the words pronounced. So I was uh, somewhat laughed at, made me a little shy because I, but I was always interested in science. And even when I was uh, back in, in the little town of Tam Young, I was always studying astronomy and working out uh, the, how, when eclipses occur, the sun eclipse and the moon eclipse, and I can remember having arguments with my parents about the shape of the eclipse uh, shadow on the earth. So uh, I've always been interested in that kind of thing, in science particularly and in math. Uh, um, so then I went to uh, college I graduated. Uh, I graduated from Davidson College in North Carolina in uh, 1941, I believe it was 1941, uh, just before the um, our entry into the World War II, and I went to um, Washington University in St. Louis uh, on a scholarship. So, uh, but I, I, my parents didn't have any money, particularly, and I was given uh, $300 a year for tuition and room and board, and we, I was able to find a, a, a roommate. The two of us lived in the home of a retired minister. Uh, and did, took care of his furnace in return for that room. And then I worked on the tables of some of the boarding houses where the students ate. And I was able to get by. I worked my way through college, really. Uh, a very minimal amount of money. Let me go back to the Korean era. First of all, um, what was the nature of your parents' work? What were they doing there? Well, uh, teaching and preaching. Uh, uh, my mother and father both spoke very fluent Korean. Uh, they went out in 1910, just when the Japanese took over the country. It landed about the same time, and the whole time I was there, the Japanese were running South Korea. And uh, you know, it wasn't until the end of World War II that the Japanese had to leave. So from 1910 to about 1945, Korea was under the uh, rule of the Japanese government. And how, <clears throat> how did that Japanese uh, control affect your parents' work, if at all? Not really very much. Uh, toward the end, uh, the Japanese became uh, very uh, dictatorial and uh, insisted that that everybody 
um, bow and make obeisance to the Japanese emperor. And <clears throat> when uh, Pearl Harbor was bombed in 1941, uh, December the 7th, I don't know, uh, uh, I was in medical school in, uh, in uh, St. Louis, Washington University. Uh, at that time, uh, the uh, Japanese uh, demanded from my father that he sign over all the mission property to the Japanese government because of the, the war had started. And uh, you know, after Pearl Harbor, we were at war with Japan. And <clears throat> since my father refused to do it, he spent four months in jail, uh, local Japanese jail. He had, um, and he's written a, a book about his experiences during those four months. In the end, um, they had him on rice water for a couple of weeks, uh, but uh, suddenly uh, some negotiation between the Japanese and the Americans uh, for a swap of prisoners, and they were fortunate to be able to come home then. So uh, although he had a very hard time for four months uh, after that, he was able to get, they were able to get on a ship and um, go to South Africa where the prisoners were exchanged. And they got another boat, went to back to the USA. And they spent the rest of the war in this country. In Georgia? Uh, well, yes, it was in Decatur, Georgia. That's right. That's where we... We lived, uh, and because by that time I was in, uh, I was in uh, medical school, and uh, doing the, doing the, and graduated uh, in '44. We, we normally the medical school curriculum is four years, but during the war they shortened it to three years by making us go to school all summer. And we, uh, I, I graduated in '44, and then took a uh, uh, one nine-month in, uh, internship in Atlanta, Georgia. So uh, uh, we have some connection with that state. You have siblings, right? I was the sixth of seven children, so I have. Uh, I had four older brothers and uh, one older sister and one younger sister. And did any of them become scientists? Yes, uh, my, uh, the, my brother, who's just older than me a couple of years, uh, was a biologist. Uh, he ended up, he, he was first in Texas at uh, Baylor, uh, there was a, uh, and then he moved to North Carolina. He ended up, he was professor of uh, orthopedics because his research was in uh, bone, calcium. And uh, so uh, th that's, that's the only, sibling who was interested in science. Uh, I had both my sisters were nurses at one time. And what about your other brothers? Uh, well, uh, my oldest brother was a, a electro, electrical engineer at the time when the development, he would work for RCA when they were developing television and he was involved with that to some extent, I think. And then the other uh, two brothers uh, were ministers, Presbyterian ministers. Mm 